Aisha, for this particular thing where you tell Peter will be for inside this video, eh? Now God go bless you. This woman, don't fall in scatter everywhere. Make you hear this woman reaction. This woman reaction for one viral video of Kenneth Okonkwo. One viral video of Kenneth Okonkwo where he does a trend on social media since some days now. Where Kenneth Okonkwo they talk say Peter Obi, Atiku, and President Tunubu should step aside for that viral video. Make you hear. I shall you soup our own reaction about that video where they trend on social media and make one also share this video, make other Nigerians make their see here waiting at the year. See, guys, enjoy the video and I'll write up. Hello, everyone. So, um, Kenneth Okonko uh, has uh, on a, in an interview said that uh, Atiku Tinibu Peter Obi should step aside and that uh, new faces should come in. Uh, he said opposition has failed. I, so I agree with him. Opposition has, has failed in the sense that a lot of people who have been elected into office that are on the opposition platform have not, you know, really come out to, to really act the way they should. PDP, Labour Party, all of them, they haven't really done what they should. But what, what baffles me is the fact that on what basis are you lumping Peter B? Uh, Atiku and Tinibu in the same WhatsApp group. I don't get it. When you say old faces, when you say whatever, you keep saying that uh, Peter Obi should not contest for 2027 uh, election. He should he should give way to new faces. Who are these new faces? What is the new face? I don't understand. How did Peter Obi? Okay, so because Peter Obi contested in 2023 election, he actually won the election that was rigged, and th that makes him now the old face. That makes him part of the Atiku and the Tinibu kind of uh, this thing. In terms of age, they are not in the same age zone uh, uh peter Obi is in his 60s early 60s the other ones are in their 70s or probably late 70s or something like that so they are not in the same age group so it's like it's like saying that myself like lumping me and peter Obi and say that we are the same old politicians or, or whatever because we are also in a different you know age age group i'm in my I'm in my early 50s uh, and then, of course, if you now look at the kind of things that they've run in terms of their policy, in terms of the governance uh, style that they have run, is totally different. Is it in terms of Peter B has never been found to be corrupt or any corruption, anything attached to him. He didn't loot money while he was in, in office. So you can't use that lack of compet uh, competence or character against him. And then uh both Atiku, there are a lot of corruption allegations. Uh, uh, both Atiku and, and, and Tinibu, a lot of corruption allegations. So on what basis are you putting Peter Obi and... Uh, because I'm really trying to understand uh from uh, Mr. Kenneth Okonko's point of view. I'm really trying to understand that. Uh so to say okay which part of it because I, I'm not getting it. If you say opposite some people should not contest whatever, but how did Mr. Peter B enter into that whole category? And then if he enters into that whole category, who are the ones that are going to uh uh, com uh, uh compete in twenty twenty seven? That is to say all politicians or anyone who has been partisan before shouldn't co uh, contest or anyone who has been who has been a governor or who has been something uh who had ever run for office shouldn't contest. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around all of that to say what what is this thing? What is this thing and where is it? But anyway, just take a listen at what uh, Mr. Kenneth Okonkwo himself said. People who still mandate, if they have this zeal to fight for it, to grab it at all costs, to snatch it and run away with it, you that have the victory that people worked for, you must have equal and superior zeal to snatch your mandates at all costs, to grab it, to fight for it, and to run away with it. It is your victory. And people who voted for you, you have to fight. If you don't want to fight, step down. You know what I want? Tinubu, Atiku, Bitobi, they should step aside. We need new people who will take over this mantle. If you don't want to fight these thieves, then you step aside. Time for calm down. You know, William, it's over. So, why do you look at... 
Well, I I, re I really don't know, but there's a reason for uh, for everything. And uh, maybe by the, if he could give us his reasons, and then they will actually do make sense to us. But right now, it's not making sense to me. I don't see where that is. But one of the things that for me I want to say is that why is there so much fixation about Peter Obi not running for 2027? Who is afraid of Peter Obi uh, running in 2027? So why why is it? I mean, if they said oh, uh, Peter Obi uh, Peter Obi you know, did not win the election. Peter will be came last. Peter will be this. Peter will be that. Peter, you shouldn't be bothered whether he runs or not, right? That's for me. I'm I'm going beyond even the uh, Kenneth Okonko. So I I could see. Then even try to see from Kenneth Okonko's angle that maybe he needs new people that he thinks will win. I don't know. But 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 for me, it's the fact that there is this. It's not just from Kenneth to Konko, beyond Kenneth to Konko. So there's this orchestrated moves. So you, see, you see when something is orchestrated, that it's coming from different angles, but you know that it's from one source, even though it's coming from different angles, but definitely from one source. And this whole issue of again and again and again and again and again to say that Peter Obi shouldn't contest, Peter Obi shouldn't run for office in 2027, Peter Obi, I'm like, it's a kill me. I think what has been running since 1992. The, the way they are hammering uh, Peter Obi not running for, should not, should not run for 2027. They are not hammering like that on our, on our tickle. But then, of course, it's also said they know who won the election. They know by the grace of God again who will win the uh, election again 2027. You know, God's, God's sparing our lives uh, to, to get to that time. And so, what they want to do now is as much as possible a lot of disc uh, discrediting that's why you see the whole like I, I did a video the other time I talked about the bigotry that is going on the bigotry against Ibos. Uh first of all they views religion Muslim Muslim tickets and all of that now they really want to wrap up on the fact that oh the Igbo whatever the Igbo tribe so they, all they want to do is lump uh, Peter Obi with his tribe and say this is that but I think propaganda uh, propaganda wouldn't work in the sense that the uh, hunger Hey, hey, hunger has shown people. People are hearing when, when people are killing for a kill, 1,000 naira for petrol. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but honestly, I will tell you that sometimes, sometimes there are certain hard conditions that people need to go to that. Even you in your personal life, you go, you need to go through those hard conditions for you to have sense. Until and unless you go through it, you will not get that sense. And so that's where it is. That, that is definitely where we are right now. But honestly, I'm still battling. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how did Mr. Peter B become lumped up with Atiku and Tinibu that, oh, they shouldn't run for office. They've not become the old face. If you have any answers to that please drop them in the comment section let me read and see let me try and read and see and understand and i'm very open-minded for me i believe uh there's always something there's always an angle i love dissenting opinions because dissenting opinion gives us opportunity to see issues from perspectives that we've not looked at them before and so i really would love to see and understand all of these things where is it really coming from what is this you know uh all, all about and uh hey <laughs> it is what it is right but nigerian politics is quite interesting but for me like i always say is the fact that dear citizens every one of us we can't stay out of politics we have to be part of politics the, at this moment where we don't have the required critical number of people that we that we care for us that we think about us that we make policies with us in mind then it behoves on every one of us to be part of that politics you can do something you're either you can be a registered member even if you don't want to be a registered member you can be those that help people campaign help them raise money because politics is expensive help them raise money you can run for office if you have the capacity you can just be a party member to ensure that best candidate emerge for me it's I, I, it's always about the person really not about the party if we, if for example Nigeria, we get to a place where it is only the best of the best that imagine all the candidates. You can in all the parties. I mean, you can go home and sleep now, knowing fully well that at the end of the day, whoever imagine will be competent. We do the right thing for the people. The only thing that will matter is the ideologies. What? Are, where is this one? Where is that one? Kind of a thing. So when we get to that place, then not everybody has to be in politics. But as we are right now, the way things are created, we have to be. And 2027 are. Ah, 
It is a battle. It is a battle for the survival of Nigeria. It is. This suffering that we've gone through, I hope we don't allow the suffering to go to waste. I hope we learn from the suffering. I hope we put Nigeria first instead of our personal selfish interests first. Because it's when Nigeria is good that all of our lives will be good. No matter how rich you are, no matter how wealthy you are, no matter what position you have, as long as Nigeria is not good, you also will be affected because you cannot enjoy your life freely the way you should be enjoying your life so please 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 we almost put our hands together to get that nation that we all have been here we all have been waiting for so at this moment <laughs> i've not done my very very cool very. i didn't even have to because i i was i was actually literally trying to think and wrap my head right now like say so, okay let me understand why is it let me see from what angle is it that peter will be shooting run from what angle is it that Peter will be, uh, 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 what you call him now, uh, Atiku and Tinibu are, are put, are lumped together as the, the old politicians that the Kodin run. So I didn't even have time to even remember my, oh, very, very cool, very, very, hey, a lot of things are happening. And I'll keep you posted, inshallah. Bye. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram and also on YouTube so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.